March 1st is Zero Discrimination Day. Each year, UNAIDS campaigns a movement for change that promotes the right to live a full and productive life while ending all forms of discrimination. This year, UNAIDS is calling for the need to end inequalities surrounding income, sex, age, health status, occupation, disability, sexual orientation, drug use, gender identity, race, class, ethnicity, and religion that continue to persist around the world. Inequality is growing for more than 70% of the global population, increasing the risk of division and impeding economic and social development. Statistics show that COVID-19 affects the most vulnerable people the hardest, including the lack of accessibility to new vaccines against COVID-19. UNAID states that discrimination and inequalities are closely related. Intersecting forms of discrimination against individuals and groups can lead to inequalities in income, educational outcomes, health, and employment to name a few. Also, inequalities may lead to stigma and discrimination. Thus, more people need to challenge these disparities to address discrimination. The Joint United Nations Program on HIV and AIDS unites 11 UN organizations in an effort to end AIDS as a public health threat by 2030. UN AIDS states that tackling inequalities and ending discrimination are critical to ending AIDS. The world has a long way to go in participating in the shared commitment to end AIDS by 2030, not because of a lack of knowledge, capability, or means to beat AIDS, but because of structural inequalities that obstruct proven solutions in HIV prevention and treatment. Show your support to zero discrimination, not just this March 1st, but even beyond. Stay informed, spread the word, become a donor today. Thank you for listening.